In this video, we are going to limit the votes because for now we are showing like you have four left, you have one left, you have zero left, but we are still allowing you to vote later. Then we need to block this action. Then let's do it. Okay, now I'm going to... Let me come to this first. It's always good to comment, right? And my votes and refactor to reuse topics. Because I have some rules here that you know that we are running as linked, then you can see like some problems. It's I always get some problems and that's good because we can fix some unused imports. The ID can clean up the unused imports, by the way. But some errors the ID cannot, then I'm going to change here anyway. Like logger client. Oh, I think this was imported somehow, and this imported was not migrated here. Then I can just do this. This was going to create an error because this guy was going to be undefined. Then it's very useful to have a husky. And if you don't know what is this, check the first videos because we create this from scratch. Then you can see how to set up the, the husk and everything. Okay, now it's good. Uh, this is an old warning that we have here. Okay, then you can start. Let's limit the topic upvote. Like we have two options here. Like you can limit in the UI or you can limit in the server. And actually you have a third option. You can limit on both. That's probably the best idea because then you are sure that always your database is in a good state. And I think that's what we are going to do. Then I'm going to get this. I think we already have a way to count the upvotes. Because we showed this, then let me remember how we did it, but you probably did somehow. I have the top tier. I'm just using the stops to get the IDs and probably can even prove this. Uh, user. Yeah, I don't remember. Maybe in the header, because we have the count there, then we are for sure doing it. Yeah, it's here. Okay, then we have this subscription. Oh no, but it's just counting like this. Yeah, what you can do here is count upvotes by user. Count upvotes by user. And then you can just copy this code. And then we can even copy everything. And that's it. Then I just need to provide user ID. That's logged user dot ID. Then we can go to the collection and you can implement this new method that will be count. I always try to not like just duplicate it code that is not necessary. Like this is very easy to refactor in a way that you can use in both place. Then like don't, don't duplicate the code just because, oh, it's easy as well to just copy and paste because that will have a price later when your code is huge. Okay, then we can count upvotes by user. Then that's what we're going to do here as well. If you don't have the user ID, this code's going to break. Then count upvote by user. It's also in this collection. And I can provide the user ID. Okay. Oops, sorry. I don't know why I say sorry when I mistype something, but anyway. Uh, okay, you don't... Oh, let me change this to template string. You don't have more upvotes left. Please undo some... Please undo some votes if you want. 
Yeah, maybe that's good. Then upvotes quantity. Then if the upvotes quantity is max, it's more than the max. Our max is five. We are going to throw this error. Otherwise, we are going to upvote. Then like in the server, this is probably okay. But let's see, I don't think we are going to handle this message correctly. Then let's go to my homepage. Okay, zero. Oops. Let me see why. I have an error here. Okay, it's try to register the collection twice. That was probably because of the hatch mod replacement error. Yeah, now I have an error, but I just got the error. Oh, it should be equal, right? I think that was the problem. Let's upvote some stuff. I will undo the upvote two items. Then I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to upvote one, and then I'm going to upvote the other. Oh, this was an undo. Yeah, we have the error in the proper place now. And it's not updating, it's not counting, it's working as expected. But I just got this error. I would like to have this nice message here. Okay. I don't remember if I'm throwing any error that I'm expecting the result. But usually what I do, I try to have a better like API, like a reason here. Let's see. Because I would like to identify the errors that I want to show to the user and the ones that I don't want to show to the user. Like the message, this is the error. Or maybe I should have this as the error should be expected error. I think this is what I do usually. Because then I can have like a, something like this, expected error. Because I know this error is expected, then I can show as a message for the user because I know this message is going to be friendly. But let's see. Otherwise, I can just show like invalid field in the database and the user say, okay, but what I can do now? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, you have expected the error as the error object and then you have the message and you have the reason. Then what I'm going to do, this is a method call. Then we can even try to create some like generic way where we have this method call. The problem with this method call is that I don't have a nice way to provide more arguments here. But I'm always just getting one object, can you see? Always just one object. Then I'm going to change this API. Then the arg is going to be one object, always. And maybe, how many do I have? Maybe I need to change this API completely to have a name. Now let's try this first. Okay, this is going to be an arg, and then I don't need to do this, because this is going to be an arg all the time. And here I'm going to provide options, and in this case my option will be show alert i'm trying maybe you should have a use hmm that would be a nice idea maybe you could have a use export const use method and then this using method would return a method call but the method call would be with a name and a the arg and more options. And then I could call this as name arg options. Why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I want to be able, I'm going to return this. I want to be able to have another hook here that is probably use the alert. And then because I have a React context in this case, then the use the alert is going to, I don't remember how I use the alert, but I know I'm using somewhere uh, where, where I'm using the alert. Because I, I know I, 
I do this when you try to upvote, then let's see the topic. I'm using the alert here, but I don't remember how. Yeah, here, open alert. Then this is the way that I'm using it. Okay. Open alert, and then I can provide this as an option for my, yeah. I can get any option that you provide to me, plus open alert, and then I'm going to have open alert here. And if you have an error, I don't need to have this else. I can just have this return, and I can see if the error dot error equal expected error, then I can show open alert error dot reason or oops, something wrong. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. I'll try to now have this. Maybe this is bad to be like method call because it's the same. Call, yeah, I don't like to use the same name for different things, but anyway, let me see if this is going to work. Then I have my upvote action. What is it? Yeah, here. Then I have my upvote action. And if my upvote is throwing an error, what is it? Upvote. It's somewhere here, right? Yeah, upvote. Yeah, if this is going to throw an error, I'm not going to use this method call anymore. Yeah, I need to have a different name for this. Let me call this method. It's just a very bad name. It's just because I, I want to, to test the concept first, but that's the idea. I'm going to have this smart method call, use method. And then the smart method call, it's different. I need to provide a name. That I can replace all the users if this is a better idea. I can provide the arc. And in this case, I don't want to provide any option. But my smart method call is always handling errors for me automatically. That's the goal. Let's see. Sorry for the noise. Then upvote. Oh, it's almost working. It's almost working. Just the message is wrong. Error upvoting a topic. You don't have more upvotes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but I think the error is happening. I don't know why it's not showing the alert. Uh, let's see, I have this, use method, I have this, that's calling here, that's spreading the option, and the option is here. Let me see if this open alert is what I expect, and also if this is what I expect. Let me refresh to be sure we have new code here. Open alert, yes. Error dot reason, yes. Oh, but open alert, maybe I'm calling it incorrectly. I think I need to provide, yeah, I need to provide the message property. Yeah, we are almost there, almost there. We could block the button as well, but maybe this is nice. Yeah, you don't have more upvotes. Yep, yep, yep. And if this error is an expected error, maybe should, I don't know if I should resolve your leave the error. I think I'm going to leave as an error for now, but it's weird because I'm logging as an error, but it's not really an error, but you can decide what to do with this error handling later. But at least now the user can understand, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I think that was our goal for this video. Then let me just double check it's working. And this is just like a nice idea for you to like refactor your code, providing more ability for your code like this. 
Okay, then I can just have, I'm not using these options for now. Maybe I should just simplify this a little bit and I can just simplify this as well because I'm not providing any options here then. It's useless, but I could provide later. But here I'm still keeping this because this is also exposed as a different API. Yep, it's still working. Okay, let's commit this. Limit upvotes to five. As always, it's good to watch here because we are going to have errors for sure. Oh, I just cleaned up too fast. Let me, or too slow, right? Because the errors were here already. Okay, I have some problems here. Line two, yeah, not using this. Unexpected console, of course. That's it, guys. I'm going to deploy this code as I always do. Then you can start upvoting, upvoting where I have this control. And I am going to use this upvote to start recording finally the talks and the videos that you want. Okay. Then see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.